Hello, everybody. Welcome to day number 50, the halfway point of meditating every day for two hours and then making a daily video sharing my experiences. So pretty cool to have come this far. Um, right now, and I'm just like always going to like share my own experiences. And so often in these videos, I'm talking to myself as well. So as I'm sharing my experience and, and really talking to myself, see what resonates with you and, and what you can take from that and what really, you know, hits, hits home in your heart. Right now it is windy and cold and overcast and there's a little bit of snow and it's just really icky weather. And that is mirroring my inner state. I feel like right now life is orchestrating everything to really like squeeze out all the karma in me, you know, to like bring up all this inner conflict that still exists within me. It feels like the energy right now is really illuminating anything that's in separation within me right now. Um, and what I mean by that is like, I find myself yes, feeling kind of just like that, you know, that unease of when we're purging, just like that kind of ickiness in the body. Um, just like a little bit of that electric tingling that is just not that pleasant, you know, like, um, um, just like the crawling sensation a little bit. So that's when we know we're having a really, um, a really big purge come through and it's a really good sign. But what can also happen and what I've been noticing is so much argument in the mind. Like I'll find myself having these imaginary arguments with people that I've created a lot of karma with in my life. And it's just like this back and forth of me just like trying to prove someone else like I'm right and they're wrong. And what, what I'm feeling is like all of this energy is really um, bringing to the surface everything in separation within us, within me, everything that is in, is in conflict. I, I'm really feeling that. And this can be a really challenging, a challenging inner movement to embrace. This is, you know, part of the, part of the work is, is allowing these things to come up and to, to not really resist this movement by being pulled into identification with it and by becoming part of the argument. Um, but just letting it play out on its own, letting that, those parts of us that are in separation, letting them come up in the mind and just letting them have their movement, letting the density come up, letting ourselves just open to it as much as we can. And, you know, we're also connected to nature, to nature. Yes, but also the weather patterns too. So a lot of times weather patterns that are like really icky and that we don't like and, and are overcast and cold, like in the middle of April when we're wanting spring. <laughs> These actually serve us. These can really help us bring up parts of us that otherwise we, we wouldn't be able to see. And if we weren't able to see them and feel them, then we couldn't integrate them. You know, so this weather on one hand, it really is a bummer. Would I rather be out hiking in the sunshine <laughs> in the trees? Of course. But on the other hand, this weather has doing me a huge favor because it's bringing up parts of me that um, need love, that need to be seen, you know, and that need to be healed and integrated. So weather patterns, while we may often say, you know, certain weather we don't like, it's actually always there to help us. It's always, you know, the weather hits, like I know weather hits for me, right at the perfect time, right when I need to unearth some things. And that's what's happening to me today. Like I didn't sleep last night at all. Um, it was just, and the sleep I did get was not good. And I just woke up feeling, you know, just the heaviness and just kind of one of those days. And here's a movement for you that I have been implementing today. And that oftentimes when I'm in my density, when I'm in my heaviness, that I will just neglect and not think about. Can you have the humility to ask for help? 
Can you call on the non-physical for help? Can you ask God or the universe or your higher self to take your heaviness, to take your density, to take your inner conflict, to take the parts of you that are still in separation? Can you call on God? Can you ask the Most High to take these parts of you? And, and in return, give you love, in return, give you peace, or in return, help you to open your heart. Because right now, the energies are really, like I said, they're really, we'll say, conspiring to bring up and unearth so much in us, so much of the karma. It's like squeezing the karma out of us. And this can be a lot for the human. This can be a lot for the mind. And if you find yourself getting overwhelmed by density, by, you know, that karma that's coming up, that, that unconsciousness in you, if you find yourself getting overwhelmed by it and falling into identification with the mind, because that's a sign you're getting overwhelmed by the clearing process is when you're getting the sign, a sign you're getting overwhelmed by the clearing process is that you're becoming identified with your thoughts is that you're starting to believe and make an identity out of your thoughts. And if you find yourself in that place, the best and the most healing movement is to ask for help. Ask God, you know, call on God, call on your higher self, to take that in you, to take that in you, which is feeling overwhelming, which is feeling too much to bear, which is, you know, whether it's your anger or your sadness or just your overall, you know, feeling of unease and, and just like all the symptoms that can come with a purge, you know. And as we deepen our connection with the, with the divine, with God, with your higher self, with the universe, you'll notice you'll be brought into your heart. It's a natural movement. It's almost like you can't be connected to the, to the divine and not have an open heart. And you can't have an open heart and not be connected to the divine. It feels like one movement. And these clearing processes, these purges happen to help us let go of separation, to help us dissolve whatever is in us that is in conflict and separation, which is just to say, it, it, these, pro, these um, purges are here to help us disidentify with the mind, to let go of identification with what we're not, which is thoughts and the psychological construct of who we are, or labels. That is what we're not, and that is what these energies are here to help teach us, and here to help us let go of. And as we let go of those, of that identification with thought and the mind, and all of that dualism, and separation, and conflict, and right and wrong, and good and bad, as we let go of that, and we sink deeper into the divine, we come more into our heart. And I had someone... I'm going to butcher this name, but it was V. Vander, I'm sorry, but someone commented recently, it just feels never ending, I think they were saying it feels never ending, this, this movement of not knowing, of feeling like there's no future, of the uncertainty, and it's really hard. It is hard. It's as hard as we make it. It's as, it's only as hard as we are identified with the mind. So if we're very identified with the mind and our thoughts and our psychological construct and our labels and with having to know and with needing certain certainty in all this, which all comes from the mind, then yes, it, it's, it's a very hard thing to grasp the thing of the, the idea of never knowing of not knowing. But as we surrender that way of living, and we fall into the divine's arms and we feel held and supported and loved by the non-physical, by the divine, by the universe. And as we come into our heart more, 
the idea we realize what we thought we knew when we were living through the mind was always just an illusion it was never real anyways and that this whole journey has been so divinely orchestrated the whole way through if you look back at your life you'll see it's it's been a divine movement that you may have thought you were in control of temporarily so what's coming to the surface right now with these energies is just an illumination of what's always been. It's always been this way that we have never known our future for sure, that we have always been uncertain about what's going to happen. You know, life, this existence is very temporary, very fleeting, very temporal. And it can be, it can just evaporate like that. A, a lifetime can feel like literally a flicker of light, you know, when you zoom all the way out. And that's the essence of this experience. That's where the growth is, is embracing the un uncertainty. Embracing that you never know what's going to happen. And so life is really giving us an opportunity to see what within us is resistant to the unknown, is resistant to not knowing. And that part in, of you that you, you will notice, that part of you that is resistant to uncertainty and to not knowing, is the part of you that is still identif identified with the thinking mind. And the divine has orchestrated circumstances so perfectly on planet Earth right now to help us to see those aspects of us that are still identified with that thinking mind. And it's helping us through, you know, squeezing the karma out of us, through bringing up all of our unconsciousness. It's helping us to let go of that identification and to connect with our true nature, with our divine nature, with our infinite nature, so that we can be so that we can flourish in uncertain times, so that we can embrace the unknown, so that we can really make that a, what our life is, so that we can just live spontaneously in the moment. And to do this, it takes that trust. It takes that trust. And it takes living with an open heart. And that's what these energies are, are here to help serve us to do. They're, they're here to help us Break identification with the mind. And sometimes that can be fierce and that can be painful and that can be scary. But it's also here to show us that this universe is very friendly and supportive. It's a very friendly and supportive universe. And like I've said before, I think I've heard someone else say, maybe it was Anna Brown, when you let go of that identification with the mind and you fall back, you're falling back into a feather bed. You will literally feel yourself being held. And then you, you don't need the assurances anymore because you know yourself as the divine. You know yourself as the one. You know yourself as, as the infinite, as an extension of source. And that's everything you will ever need. So outside circumstances lose their ability to create fear within you. Because you know who you truly are. And you know your power. And so, you know, that's, a, that's, that's, the, uh, that's what I'm going through today. Lots of clearing. Lots of learning who I am on a deeper level. Lots of letting go with the arguments in the mind. Of the separation and the, and the conflict going on in the mind. And asking the divine and and. God and the universe for help, to help unburden me, to help liberate me from my illusions so that I can come more fully into my heart. Because <sighs> you know what? It feels good to be in your heart. It feels good to live life in your heart because when your heart's open, it doesn't matter what happens. <laughs> when you connect deeply enough with yourself, it doesn't matter what happens. 
And the deeper connected you are to yourself, the more grace you're going to experience. It's when we're really um, rooted in our thinking mind that our external reality can, can get very difficult and challenging because life is trying to show us it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to be a struggle. Life is trying to, through pain, life is trying to bring us to the present moment to show us who we really are, to show us how powerful we are. And sometimes for a lot of us, like me, <laughs> it can take a lot of fierce grace to really help us to truly let go and to allow the divine to live through us as us. If, and I'll end, I'll end on this. If, if you will just literally sit and listen to the silence, you can give all of this to the silence. You can give all of this unconsciousness, all of your conflict, all of your pain, all of your density, all of your burdens. You can give it all to the silence. And in return, the silence will give you the universe. All right, guys. Day 50. I love you all so much. Namaste.